this is the second in the first impressions video series that you can use with your staff. Today's video is on the greeting and why you need a consistent greeting. So a greeting when people come into your hotel or your bakery or your coffee shop, why is it even important? Well, they may have a great product, but honestly, there's quite a few bakeries. There's a lot of coffee shops. And I imagine in your town, it's the same. The same thing for hotels. Why would we pick one over the other? Well, there's a lot of reasons. And if as a business owner, you can give yourself a competitive edge, why not do it? Do it. To answer the question, why do I need a greeting? I'm going to tell you, there's two reasons. First reason will focus on your customer. So when you come into a, a store or a hotel or whatever, if the staff there consistently greets you in the same manner with, good afternoon, how may I help you? Or welcome to McDonald's, may I take your order? Or howdy cousin, whatever it is, you as a customer are more likely to recommend a place if they have great service or food or uh, beds or it's a great hotel or it's unique, right? It's the thing. That's one reason I might recommend it to my friends. The other reason that I might recommend a place to my friends is that I know that they will go and they will get the same experience that I received. So it's important to be consistent with greeting your customers because you're setting up an experience that the customer can count on every single time. You wouldn't dream of having like a fluffy scone one day and then a dry one the next day. No, the consistency is important in your product. That same consistency needs to be applied to how you greet your customers. Do you see the connection here? Because when you create a consistent expectation and a consistent experience for your customers, they're more likely to recommend your place of business to their friends and colleagues. And that's what you want. Word of mouth marketing is very powerful. And if I come into your business and I am your perfect demographic, you want to do everything in your, in your power to make sure that I recommend you to my friends. Because if I am your perfect demographic, I hang out with people that are like me. Not everybody, but we're in the same group. So if you can tap into my friends through me, you've just got a gold mine. <laughs> you don't have to throw money at some kind of a magazine or an ad or something and hope that it hits the correct demographic. No, you've got it right here in front of you. So utilize the customer because if they fit your profile, they are friends with people who fit your profile. And if you can get the customer to recommend the customer's friends, they'll in turn recommend their friends and they'll in turn recommend their friends and on and on and on. It's a great self-perpetuating cycle. It's like network marketing or the 12 disciples, right? It's the greatest model ever. The trick is getting me, your customer, to recommend you, the business, to my friends. So you do that by creating, of course, a great product or service. That's, that's a given. In order for you to create a consistent experience with the customer service, your employees, they need to have that smile, eye contact, and greeting. The greeting is really important. Now, what the greeting does is it helps to create a consistent experience, again, with your customers. And if that experience is similar every single time, they're going to recommend it to their friends because, you know, why would I recommend a place that sometimes I go in and it's great and sometimes I go in and it's terrible? I wouldn't. <laughs> so don't do it. Use all these things to your advantage. So the number one reason for a consistent greeting is to get your customers to experience the wonderful experience that you provide every single time and then they will recommend your place of business to their friends and relatives and all those other people that fit. The second reason which is equally as important, and this is what your staff needs to do within staff. 
if I have a greeting, let's say we brainstormed and we're going to say good afternoon or good morning or good evening, and then may I help you? Pretty simple, right? Eye contact, smile, greeting. Eye contact, smile, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, may I help you? That's it, it's really not hard. But like any new habit, it's going to take some muscles to develop. You're gonna to have to flex the muscles, you're gonna to have to practice. They'll be weak and spindly at first, and then as you practice more and more, and they become stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, that's exactly the same thing. It's important for you to do this from employee to employee for a lot of reasons. First of all, the reason it's important to do employee to employee, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, that's it, because it will create um, a muscle that becomes a habit. Your staff, when they come into work, they have a lot of stuff going on. Maybe they had a good morning, maybe they had a bad morning, but they're kind of like the foundation and the bedrock of setting up a consistent experience for your customer. You want to help support that bedrock and shore it up or repair it or paint it, whatever, you know, help it to be really strong. Let's take this for example. If I'm your employee and I am a little late to work and let's say my kids were sort of sick this morning but I got a babysitter at the last minute, I didn't have time to eat breakfast and I spilled coffee on myself and I pulled in and got stopped by a policeman because I was driving too fast, I may have a little bit of a frazzled beginning to my work day. That's really not that uncommon because people's lives are busy. If I am conditioned and I've exercised my muscle so that the first thing I do when I see either an employee, a fellow employee, or a customer, basically anyone, a vendor, it doesn't matter, the first thing that comes out of my mouth, good morning, that's it. It gets me in the right mindset before I walk into the door, before I go and clock in or fill out my timesheet. That's an advantage to you as a business owner, and it's also an advantage for your um, employee, me, to get into the right frame of mind. Now, if I've had that terrible start to my day, and a fellow employee sees me, and looks at me, and smiles at me, and says good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, it feels good on the receiving end. It's a nice way for me to be acknowledged, because I just had a bad beginning. And if I get a nice greeting from a fellow employee, it can do nothing but good, good things. That's another reason why it's important. So a consistent greeting is important for your customer. It's also important for your staff. It is imperative that your staff greet one another in the same manner, with the same respect, honestly, that they're giving to the customer. Because you're all on the same team you might as well act like a team and uh, come out, I don't know, punching or whatever that phrase is. Come out, guns a blazing. I think that's it. Come out, guns a blazing. I don't know if that's so appropriate right now with all of the talk and political stuff, but I'm going to use it anyway. So <laughs> you are welcome to go to kaizen.zone website and download some materials that can help you walk through these things with your staff with the video, definitely use a video, and then use the tools, the paper that I've made for you. Have your staff help come up with a greeting because they'll buy into it that way. All right, let's spread some kindness. Thanks so much for watching, love your comments, and I appreciate it so much. Have a wonderful day.